Hi, Tana Marshall here with your Feel Good Friday message. And today I want to talk to you about enjoying the journey. And this is something that we've all heard, especially in the self-help world, that it's the journey, it's not the destination, and you want to enjoy the journey on the way to where you want to be and what you want to have and what you want to do. And, you know, I always said, oh, okay, well, I'll try to enjoy the journey. And I think most of us just want to get there. We want to get to the destination. But I'll tell you about something recently that's made me really conscious of enjoying my journey. And it's something that I shared for the first time a few months ago. And that is my new passion of making wreaths out of Christmas ornaments. And I, I can't get enough of this. And I actually took down my poster of Walt in the castle to put that up. So that's huge. But I just, I didn't want to have it here because they're so big. <laughs> it's hard for me to talk to you and hold it. I'm so afraid of breaking it because they're really, really delicate. That is my birthday wreath. I have just gone crazy with ideas for different wreaths. I'm working on a haunted mansion wreath. I'm still collecting ornaments for that. I have, <laughs> excuse me, I have done a, um, just a multicolored wreath. I did a special one for my mom with all of her teacher ornaments. I've done several with hearts that are like a love wreath. And so I'm, and I've got so many ideas for so many more. And it's something that I can do well, I'm taking care of mom and it's it's such a fun way for me to be creative and I think we all need a creative outlet and I haven't had one in a really long time. So when I start one of these, I just I'm so enjoying every step of the process and I enjoy the whole thing, figuring it out where I want to put things, where I think it looks best, what kind of special ornaments that I want to put in there. And then when it's done, I step back and go, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. And I put it up on a wall or, you know, I give it away or I'm going to be selling them on Etsy, hopefully. And I have such a feeling of accomplishment and like, okay, I've arrived. I, here's the destination, the completed wreath. And then I kind of feel like next, <laughs> I, I want to keep that momentum going because I enjoy it so much. So there was the, at the end of one little journey on the larger journey of life. And now I'm ready for the next one. And I, I think this is how people feel. Obviously, lots of people in different careers and walks of life, they, they're working on a project, and then when it's done, they, they move on to the next project. But I always think about when people are making movies. So much preparation, sometimes years that goes into making a movie and then you're actually in the process of making it and then you're in post-production and then it gets released and there's hoopla and everything and then it kind of dies down and then everybody is on to the next project and i it's i like i said i've just never really had this much of a sense of accomplishment and enjoying each little journey of each wreath that i'm making and so i just want you to be conscious of what journey are you on right now and how can you enjoy every step of the way until you reach that destination? And if you have a goal that you feel like, oh my God, I'll never get there, or I don't know if I'm going to get there, just try to enjoy elements of the journey that make you happy, that make you feel good. And if you don't have any elements on your journey that are making you feel good, oh my gosh, go get some, go find some, look for something, create them. Maybe you want to be doing something different or bigger in your career. What can you do now that would make you feel good? Maybe you can go out and make new connections with people who are doing what you want to be doing now. Maybe if you are in the corporate world and you want to move up, just do the best you can. Ask for advice on what you can do to move towards this goal. Let people know this is what I would like to be doing. This is where I'd like to be. How can I get there? and people will always be happy to help you and then they'll give you those tools. And then find the things that you like about those steps on the journey and just relish them and know that, okay, one day I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna look back on this and wanna feel good about it. Because you don't wanna look back on that time thinking, oh my God, it was such a struggle and I hated it and I was miserable. You wanna feel good about it. And I'll give you another example. I was single for a really, really long time. I didn't have any relationships that lasted longer than, it's not even relationships, you know, when I was dating, if I knew on a first date that it wasn't going to work out, I, you know, I didn't stay. And if I got involved with somebody and again, I was like, eh, this isn't the right thing. I was gone and I was never in anything more than like three months. And I would get frustrated on that journey. <laughs> I'm like, where is he? I did the Charlotte rant. I've been dating since I was 18. I'm exhausted. Where is he? But I took advantage of the fact 
that I had this time to myself. And I remember very consciously thinking in my 20s, okay, I want to make the most of this time. I want to be the best person that I can be, and I want to be the best person that I can be in a relationship. So this was during the time when I was getting so immersed in self-help and personal development. It started when I was 21, I mean, probably earlier with health stuff because of my health, but the spiritual aspect, I really got deep into it when I was like 21. That's when I found Louise Hay and her book, You Can Heal Your Life for the first time, and it opened up a whole new world and I could not get enough. I was just hungry for knowledge. But when I made that conscious decision about, okay, I'm single, I'm gonna enjoy it. Then I started reading a lot of books on relationships. So I would know how to have the best relationship when it showed up. So not only did that benefit me, but it benefited my relationship that I'm in now because I have an amazing marriage with my husband. And it's also benefited to my business because I have a lot of knowledge about relationships now because of all the studying that I did and applying these things in my own relationship and watching others apply it in theirs. So I just made that decision to enjoy that part of the journey. And it lasted a little longer than I would have liked. <laughs> <laughs> but it all works out the way it's supposed to, right? So, I mean, I wouldn't go back and change anything, but I, I can understand if you're frustrated on your journey and you're feeling like, oh, I just want to get there. I just want it to happen. Just, just breathe and know it will happen. It will get there. And you know what? You will arrive faster if you're enjoying yourself more on the way. So whatever your journey is, find those things that make you happy. If they're not there, figure it out and make sure that you have things that make you feel good on that journey If the, that apply to that journey so that you're getting yourself in that vibration of the destination. And, you know, I'll talk more in other videos than I have in the past about getting into the vibe of what you want is if you already have it. But right now, I'm just talking about finding elements that make you happy, make you feel good while you're on the way to getting there, to lessen that frustration and, and that stress and maybe the depression and discouragement because all of those emotions are gonna keep you from getting there. They're gonna be a roadblock because your energy can't move beyond that and it's not gonna attract what you want. So you wanna feel good, you wanna stay excited and as I've talked about before, you wanna stay in that state of excited anticipation like, oh my God, I can't wait for this to happen, but I'm happy where I am now and I'm enjoying this part of my journey. So what journey are you on and what can you enjoy about it now? Believe me, it'll make a big difference because you'll just feel better. If you decide to let go of that frustration and that anger and, and that stagnant feeling, Ooh, you're gonna be able to breathe, you're gonna line up your energy, and you'll find yourself on a much smoother path that's much more enjoyable, and then you'll get there probably a little more quickly. So try it and see what happens. And share your experience below if you've done this and you've been on a journey and you arrived, share how you felt. And if you're like, okay, that's great, and you're on to the next thing, or if you relished it for a while, or how you enjoyed the journey, share it below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I wanna thank you for being part of my journey right now by being with me every Friday in these videos. I appreciate you being here so very much. And if you do enjoy these videos and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, forward to your family and friends. And if you would like these videos delivered straight to your inbox every Friday, jump over to my website, tannamarshall.com and get on the mailing list. And there's also a free gift for you there. So with that, I just wanna wish you a great weekend wherever you are on your journey find things to enjoy that make you happy and you will notice your journey so much more pleasant and happy and swift so have a good one i'll see you next week